This is your AFN Misawa News Break. Misawa Air Base's firefighters had a change from their normal daily operations when school buses stopped in front of the station. But this wasn't a surprise visit. This was just one event for Fire Prevention Week. Today we're doing the tours for the, the elementary schools um, and we just take them around. We show them a couple different stations, we call them. Um, so we'll do stop, drop and roll, um, we'll show them a little video. The tours consisted of eight events, ending with the children meeting Sparky the Fire Dog before heading back to school. But this tour wasn't all fun and games. The firefighters also passed down a lot of information. I'd feel like they would be safe uh, when, with the knowledge they gained from the firehouse. And uh, it's a great experience. They, they have fun. Like other kinds of emergency preparations, the children can only do so much. But one thing they can do, and possibly the most important, is ask their parents what their plan is. You know, the kids, a lot of times, that it is what starts the parents into thinking about it again, you know, because we get kind of complacent maybe as we get older. But the kids are excited about it, and they enjoy it. And then they start asking their parents and getting them involved. So the, parent, or the children sometimes lead the parents into getting more involved in the prevention also. Like anything in the military, being proactive is always better than reacting to situations. We don't see uh, maybe too many uh, real fires. So more what our job is the fire prevention side of things. So fire prevention week really is a big thing for us. And um, if we can prevent the fires, that's better for us, you know, in our job. We do love fighting fires, um, but at the same time, we'd rather not see fires at all, you know, and fire prevention is how we do that. These events may only last for one week, but the knowledge and experiences will last the children a lifetime. Petty Officer Dean Cates, Misawa Air Base, Japan.